Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to do a color pencil drawing of a landscape. So there are variety of color pencils as well as papers available in the market. So in the process of today's drawing, I will share with you 5 important tips that any beginner should know before starting off with a color pencil. If you are meeting for the first time, hi this is Modula, the artist behind Modula Creations. I do post video tutorials every single week so please consider subscribing to my channel and also smash the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as my videos are out. Let's get started. I am going to use these 4 pencils today for the tree. This is light yellow, dark yellow, light brown and darker brown. And these two greens for the ground. These two blues, light and a dark one for the sky. And red and darker brown for the bench. I will be using this brush. Of course you can use any brush to paint it up finally. I am going to do a scenery today with a watercolor pencil. And finally I will be painting it up. You can do the same technique with a color pencil as well but if you don't want a textured look you have to use a smooth paper for today's painting I am going to use a textured paper which is a watercolor paper so I start with a basic drawing or the sketch of the landscape so it's just the outline the horizon line and few lines for the trees the first tip that I wanted to share with you is regarding the color pencil itself so there are normal color pencils which is wax based or oil based or the watercolor pencils which is water based. See these watercolor pencils are a little more creamier and pigment, pigments completely dissolve in water producing watercolor effect. And the normal color pencil we cannot use them with water because they are oil or wax based. This is the main thing so whatever output or result you want to get so you have to choose the color pencils based on that so if you wanted a watercolor effect you have to choose the watercolor pencils and if you are not going to use any water and if it's going to be a plain work then you have to go with the normal color pencils and with both this you can get realistic effects as well so that is where the second tip i wanted to share comes from the second thing is the paper itself. So we have textured paper or the smooth paper. Smooth paper in the sense you have paper for mixed media, you have paper for drawing, pen and ink drawing papers. There are variety of papers. You can use any smooth finish paper or a drawing paper which has a smooth finish. If you are going for a watercolor pencil, you can use that in a smooth paper as well as in a textured paper. Textured in the sense, the watercolor paper itself. For today's drawing, I am using a textured paper. It's a watercolor paper. And as you can see, there are a lot of textures that is shown through when I am doing with this color pencils. If you want a more realistic look, then go for a smooth paper. I also did a strawberry drawing on the smooth paper. You will get a more realistic effect on the smooth paper. I will link it above and in the description box below you can have a look at it too. So that strawberry is with the same pencils but on a smooth paper. And if you want a complete watercolor look to the finished product then you will use a watercolor pencil on a textured paper like the one I am doing here. If this is the first time you are watching my channel. I do post video tutorials every single week and I share with you the tips and tricks that I use in my very own academy. So please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as my videos are out. The next tip that I wanted to share with you is the techniques that are involved with both this. See there are different techniques for the color pencil as well as the watercolor pencil. Both work very much differently. Both have its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, watercolor pencil lead is more softer and breaks very easily. You cannot sharp it as a color pencil. It's completely different from handling your normal pencils. And the regular color pencils is more stubby, but you won't be able to paint and get a watercolor effect. 
so there are different techniques to use for both and if you start to work on them you will automatically understand the differences between them and one more thing is you cannot use uh, burnishing in watercolor pencils as you do the normal color pencils because when normal color pencil you can give more pressure to the pencil and fill in as you do for a painting but in watercolor pencil the technique is completely different you cannot burnish it as you do in a color pencil the next important tip that i wanted to give you is you have to work light to dark and also in layers so you have to mostly work from light colors to the dark colors because it's very hard to lay very light colors over very dark areas unless you use a technique like burnishing you might not be able to simply do a light color over a very dark area that easily and also you have to know what colors you will layer on top of each for example in this painting i am using the yellow first instead of doing the sky that's because if i do the yellow on top of the blue sky i'll get a green leaf so you have to remember what colors you are going to layer on top of it it's not like a normal acrylic painting where you can just layer lighter colors on top of the darker colors and they won't mix together but here it's not the case so always you have to remember what colors you layer on top of each of the other colors so if you want just a textured look to your drawing you can stop it here but as i want a watercolor effect i'm going to add water and paint it the strawberry drawing that i was talking to you earlier is done without water so you can check that out on the above link or i will also put it in the description box below so now i am going to add water to the drawing and you can see how it intensifies the color because it's a watercolor pencil so it's not a very forgiving medium you have to plan well before you put down your colors at the same time it's very interesting medium so definitely try this out another point to remember is that color pencil is a very slow medium it's definitely not like watercolor or acrylics it's very very slow and it takes a lot of time with patience so always remember this fact and don't rush your work to finish and it is like working pixel by pixel point by point and dot by dot so it's going to take its own sweet time so always don't rush your work just take a break and come back and finish up your work hope all of the tips that i shared with you are useful for you just try out both the pencils and let me know your comments so here is the finished painting and if you have any doubts please do post it in the comments and i'll be happy to help you that's it for today folks hope you enjoyed this video if so please click on the like button and also share it with your friends do subscribe and enjoy the tutorials i will link the other useful videos here please have a look at it see you in the next video guys bye bye